Hello and welcome to my video about maternity clothes and how to make this easy no matter the season and on the smallest budget if you want. <laughs> I'm right now 27 weeks pregnant, so I'm just 13 weeks away from the due date. I have definitely a bump that I've been having to dress for a while now. I've gone through the awkward stage and I've really, I think, found the system that works. So here's a direct system that will work in any season at any budget, but here's how to block and tackle it as you plan to dress for a growing belly. If you are new here, my name is Carolyn and it'd be fun if you wanna stick around. You can write a comment below. I love to reply to comments and subscribe if you'd like more videos from my channel. Today though, let's dive into this maternity clothing, maternity wardrobe, how to dress your bump. The first thing I say you should do is to actually go to your wardrobe and look at the clothing you'll need to wear during the season that is kind of your last four months of pregnancy, maybe three months. During that time, you actually will really need to dress a true bump. Like it gets big to the point where you really have to like accommodate. So think about that season and look at the clothing you already own that will work even as you get bigger. For instance, in looking at my closet with this lens, I noticed that I had a few kind of vests that will work with any size bump. They're open and flappy. They will fit me my whole pregnancy. I have this one too. And even longer, cozier sweaters will work for me because I'm dressing a bump mostly in October, November, December. You might even have an easier time if you're in a warmer climate and have a lot of loose flowy dresses that can just blow in the wind on a sunny day. That's even easier, so jealous. Beyond vests, blouses have been working a lot as well. I, again, am pretty far along. I'm. Um, entering into the third trimester next week and I can still wear a lot of my normal blouses. That really is step one, is to look at your wardrobe, maybe put something on and see how much give there will be because you can then gauge how much you already have that will work. Also in your closet, I really encourage you to acknowledge and appreciate some of the accessories that you have. So I started to feature more of my earrings out in my closet. I now have them on display because even if I wear the same outfit twice, kind of close together, if I put on a new statement earring with a very simple top, it kind of changes the outfit. And one day you put your hair up or your hair down, accessorizing is so, so helpful in making you feel like your outfit is always fresh. So pay attention to those earrings, those different hairstyles you do, even different makeup looks if you explore with makeup a lot, and shoes or bags. I don't right now have a lot of purses, I just have a few of them. There are two others in other areas of my my home, but um, I wish I had more purses to create statement outfits, but don't necessarily have enough room in this current closet for that yet. <laughs> Great, so once you've appreciated what you already own and you've kind of brought that to the forefront, reminded yourself of what will still flex and flow with you, the second step is to buy basics in maternity. So for instance, I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing a black basic long sleeve shirt because it's late October as I'm filming this and it's like 50 degrees outside. So make sure you do buy your basics in maternity so you feel like you have an outfit to build on top of, an outfit to accessorize. I could wear this shirt once or twice a week with a new accessory situation and no one would notice. It's a basic black tee. Plus, it is essential for building up on top of, like whether you're doing big scarves or vests or sweaters or like whatever you end up going with, having the baseline that is maternity and very comfortable will be helpful. So let's say you buy four items. I bought certainly a black top and a white top that is actually maternity. I can link some of my favorites below if it's helpful to you. I also bought two maternity pants right away. One I'm wearing right now, also black. And I also got a blue pair that is from the same company. 
love these. They're so inexpensive. I think they're about $30 or so. You can check it out on their website if you care. And then I most recently also bought a pair of leggings as well because like super staple for me, leggings. Um, and you can wash them a bunch. People never know if you're wearing the same pair of leggings. Just like keep putting them through the wash. That will take care of your basics. Now you have what you know in your wardrobe is going to work. You have your basics ready to go and your accessories to doll them up. The third element of this is to think about what staple, actually not staple, statement pieces you want to buy in maternity. Again, think about the months, the last three to four months of your pregnancy when you will be kind of the largest and you will really need to accommodate your bump and consider what you actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It can be fun or tempting to do the things that are super cute or trendy, um, but look at honestly what you wear and buy maybe five to start, five maternity statement-y items. See how you go and know you can always place an order for more. This is how I kept it under control and didn't go completely nutso because even honestly keeping it somewhat under control, I've spent a couple hundred dollars on maternity clothes. It just adds up. I'll show you two examples of statement maternity items that I bought. One is a very fancy dress. So I live in a city, I live in Boston, and we go out to dinners a lot with friends. I know I'm gonna be pregnant in November and December, so there are gonna be a lot of holiday parties. And this is the kind of thing that I could just wear a black cardigan with or a cute, kind of like jacket over and it is maternity it allows for a really nice big bump so I will probably wear this a few times I've already worn it once and I know in the next couple of months I'm going to certainly wear it again I got it for so inexpensive because um, I actually ordered this from thread up thread up has an entire maternity section that you can shop so you can get real brands for much less than you would pay in store because they're secondhand. And you can even shop for things that are new with tags on ThreadUp. So if you haven't yet tried it, now would be the time to look at secondhand. And I'm pretty sure I have a code that can get you money off of ThreadUp. If you want to look at that, I will link it below. Here's a second item I got from ThreadUp. You can actually see the tag is still on it. I have tried it on. It looks super cute with black leggings. And I knew this is the kind of piece, it has a tie that you tie over the bump. I knew this was the kind of piece that I could dress up or down. Like imagine this with super glitzy gold earrings, cute. Um, and like really done up makeup and hair, you could dress it up for like a dinner out. Um, particularly around Thanksgiving or Christmas. I also knew it's pretty comfortable and I could wear it like apple picking or to the grocery store or to work even. Um, so this I bought and I'm really excited about. I haven't yet worn it out though. A maternity kind of statement thing that I have worn a lot is this denim shirt. As you can see, it just has pleats, so it rests really nicely on the bump, but it's also something that you can dress up or down. It is denim, so it's not necessarily like a super nice dinner out, but um, if I wear this with really nice pants and good shoes, I can wear it for work stuff. Um, plus, it's just super comfortable, and as long as you keep it nice and crisp and ironed, I think it looks really nice. It's the kind of thing uh, I could wear once a week and probably no one notice, particularly now that I can accessorize it. Scarves over this or um, hair down, curled, it makes the whole look different. It's getting dark in here, I need to wrap this up. But here's one last example. I got this also from ThreadUp. It's a really cute pink sweater. Again, I knew I would need warm clothing because the season I'm biggest is November, December, but it has little ties and I knew this would be cozy, something that I could wear maybe around the holidays. I keep mentioning the holidays, but I seriously probably have like two dozen things I need to dress up for throughout November and December. Also, I could see myself maybe wearing this to my baby shower, potentially, I don't know. Um, but again, a day-to-day -day item that can also be worn for nicer occasions as well. You see the trend here, right? It's like, what will still work? What can you buy that will have multiple purposes, particularly those baseline stuffs? And then anything that can go day to night is so key. 
I will say that during my pregnancy, I've also taken new inventory of shoes and I got one new pair of shoes that I knew could really help the outfits look different. And I have my eye on the bag that I haven't bought yet, but my birthday is next month, so maybe I'll do it then. I hope this structure for your maternity wardrobe and like what maternity clothes to buy has been helpful as a way to think about logically how you tackle it. So again, look at your closet, look at your accessories, see what you can use and create different outfits with, then go buy your basics so at least that is taken care of, and then get honest about some kind of statement -y maternity items. If you want to go budget, I really would recommend Thread Up. It's not a sponsored call out. I just loved what it did for my wardrobe. <laughs> That's it for today. Leave comments or questions below if you have any video requests and be sure to subscribe if you want to stick around. I'll see you in the next one.